Hey everyone, welcome back. Today is the second part of the making parasol, and today we're gonna make the cover of the parasol. It's a part of the clothes, and uh, this kind of simple work to do, but uh, there are a few places that uh, need special attention, especially at that aspect of uh, topology. So let's get started. Okay, now we open the file that we finished in part one. For this parasol, we already get the good rigging, so it moves correctly like a real parasol. So everything is beautiful. We go to the number one frame, and I want to turn off some display of this uh, line and this um, empty object make uh, uh, make the screen uh, cleaner uh, click the overlay button here or check out check off the relationship line and the extra so now it's better <coughs> we click the seven in the num pattern check to change to top view and now we shift a curve select the polygon and we in each side polygon and radius a little bit bigger than the structure all right here is 2d and uh, all things not so important and then we change to object mode now we get polygon like this and for this this some this object extra you should uh, active the add-on in here called add extra object this one add curve extra object you will get the same object like me so we right click convert to mesh and change this topology I don't want it so I select this 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 and X we get H so now change to point select this part here with F and select another half here now we have the topology like this okay now we press slash Isolate this part and uh, I come into edit mode and uh, I use, use the snap and uh, make sure you select the vertex here option and uh, use K uh, cut object uh, cut tools select one point and to another point enter continue select this to the opposite point enter keep this to another enter okay so now we cut the this uh, geometry into like uh, uh, average uh, topology and uh, now we want back to normal mode and uh, select it to side view and uh, sorry turn off the snap mode and uh, move it to up and uh, here it's just a little bit higher than this structure and uh, we will select the center point make sure in the vertex mode select center point switch to side view make it drag it up and then you change to wireframe you can see better and uh, just like so 
make the line of the edge is uh, parallel with this uh, uh, structure. So, okay, now we switch to this mode and sorry, select, keep select this point and uh, we should use Control Shift B and uh, give it a bevel like this a little bit slowly I want to do it again a little bit bigger than this block ok, it's down and select this face and delete it ok, next for uh, for bad observation of the of the structure of the ok, we can turn on the option for viewport display is here click this wireframe okay now you can see the wireframe shoe on this mode even you click to switch to material mode you can still see this uh, this this edge now we want to add more polygon to the cover because for simulation of the closed uh, system need uh, more geometry to finish the, the, the calculation so I select the, the edge and Ctrl R and uh, we use well to add more edge I will add like a 13, 15 edge from top to the um, to the down and uh, keep the original position OK, now well, click on K, we will use the cut tool from top, cut to the down and the in the middle. OK, so I want to keep uh, always in the center and make it to another half and half cut to half always cut to half cut to half cut to half cut to half ok then I cut uh, from here to half again then ok steer from here to half again half again yes this uh, is a little bit boring this step and uh, Basic voltage. Okay, we just continue the same operation. Divide it to a little polygon. And now, I think I'm good with this. So next step, I want to copy this part to rest of this part. So um, first, I will delete them. So we select the face bevel and uh, select this other face and uh, delete it. This part deleted. And this part clear, clear it. Okay, we're back to object mode. Now we will see the pivot of this object in the center. So we change to top view by press seven, and the shift D. You got a copy of this part, and uh, now right click 
making it back to good uh, origin position, position and uh, you press R and uh, input negative 45 and press enter okay now you come to the next uh, position and now I just uh, I don't need to repeat the same uh, operation I just uh, use shift R the system will repeat the same position for me they will copy automatically to the good position so select this one shift R shift R just move okay I think I should do it from the beginning the system will record the correct operation so from top shift D and R negative 45 yes now select the use shift R shift R shift R yes just like so now we have a good distribution of the polygon with the eight part of the geometry but they are separate now and next uh, we will merge them together select uh, all of them all of them and uh, control J they merge to one object and uh, now we change to edit mode and uh, vertex mode vertex level and you will see in the border they didn't merge they still separate so next thing we want to do is merge the vertex in the border they already overlap but uh, they didn't merge to one point so I select all of these the text uh, just press M and here we select by distance here we see the merge distance value is 0 0.0001 which is very good so just press enter they will merge all of this point overlap to one point and uh, the other the other point they uh, the distance which is um, much bigger than 0 0.001 so the other vertex they were just uh, kept uh, kept like before they didn't uh, affect by this operation so now already become one see all oh, right so this is the whole object now every vertex to merge so we were done for this part of the making uh, now we have a good uh, a good geometry good cover for next part of the simulation okay um, we will see you in the best part of this making the simulation of clothes so see you in next part bye